You know when I come out with the black gloves, there's gonna be something a little too expensive for my taste on display. Today I'm gonna to be showcasing the differences between these white metals. Now I requested a couple of pieces from Daniel Jewelry Inc. and they are Cuban links. I know, Cuba, you've shown every Cuban link there is known to man, not necessarily. And in this particular case, it's gonna be a very interesting comparison for those who are looking for the white metal selections. Now personally, I haven't gotten the opportunity to see a side by side comparison between the following metals. We're talking about 14 karat white gold, sterling silver, 950 platinum, and pure 999 platinum. Now I've started to warm up to the whiter metals. Personally, I am a yellow gold guy, but I find that some fits just command the right amount of look for that white gold look or that white metal look. So let's show less of this face and more of the pieces. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out platinum, pure platinum, white gold, and sterling silver. I'm kind of a big deal. Morning, my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, this is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. So platinum is something that intrigues me. There's a warmth about that metal. And to be honest with you, I think the majority of the people, at least in my age demographic, didn't start hearing about platinum jewelry since Jay-Z started rapping about this shit maybe over two decades ago. We're in that platinum shit when all y'all chicks started with silver and shit. And although as a non-jeweler, I've been fortunate enough to see a variety of pieces of jewelry ranging from all different carrots, platinum is not something that I'm really super familiar with. So today, it's gonna be an experience for both of us to learn. Now, one of the things you need to know about platinum in Miami Cuban Link is that that jewelers dread using this effing metal. Tell me with this why? Because the shit breaks machines. It's an incredibly difficult metal to work with, according to Real Deal Jewelers. So keep in mind, there might be a potential increase in labor costs when you're spending that kind of money to make a big platinum Cuban link, because they might break a machine, a plate, a mandrel, something. And I've heard from a couple of people, that shit happens on the regular. So let's do some close-up shots. And not only some close-up shots, let's start off with a little testing, a visual test, to see if you guys can point out the differences between these particular metals. Let's go. So, here we go. Here are the three different metal types. And let's see if you can figure out visually which one is which. One of these is 950 silver, the other one is 950 platinum, and the other one is 14 karat white gold. Here's option one, option two, option three. Take a couple of seconds, try to see. I'll shoot some close-up shot and see if you guys can pinpoint which is which. Again, silver, 950 plat, 14 karat white gold. Which one is which? All set? So if you said this one is 14 karat white gold, you are correct. If you said this one is 950 platinum, you are correct. And this one, of course, is the 950 silver. Now to the common eye, or at least on camera, it is very difficult to tell the differences between these metals. Of course, if we dissect them up close and we will do close up shots, including outdoor shots, you'll see that there is a coolness and a temperature change and tonal change between these metals as some of them have a little bit of a darker hue and some of them have a little bit more of a shiny brightness of white. But realistically speaking, unless they're side by side to each other, the colors aren't that drastic, but what is extremely drastic is the weight. This platinum one, which is over eight and a half millimeters, is diesel. There is some heft and weight to this piece that feels so substantial in the hand that I can only imagine how it is around the neck. I have not worn these pieces, but man, the beauty and the warmth and that sexy tone in this platinum really opens up your eyes to these precious metals. Now, let's not take away from the beauty of a silver piece, cause although it's the affordable counterpart and clearly a little bit more white, it's still decently close to the platinum, at least to the naked eye, unless you're side by side and then you can start seeing some differences. But the weight is drastically different. Now, if we're looking side by side between the 950 platinum and the 14 karat white gold, you can also see that the white gold is much brighter. This one just has this darker, richer, 
colder hue and this one's a little bit more spry and energetic but man again the weight between 14 karat and platinum is crazy i mean these are two totally different lengths i believe this platinum one is about 26 inches in length as opposed to this 14 karat white gold one is what 20 it's about 20 inches but just to give you an example, let me tell you what this platinum piece weighs. So at eight and a half millimeters, this 950 platinum joint weighs approximately 194 grams at 26 inches. Comparing that to a 14 karat white gold version in 26 inches, that would weigh about 161 grams. So think about that drastic weight difference in something that's half a millimeter smaller. That's how dense platinum is and that's why it's difficult to work with. But if we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison in between the three metals, I mean, it's fairly close to the naked eye, considering the huge price discrepancy between all three. Now, what happens when we bring in a pure 999 piece? And this 999 piece is straight up fuck you money. So again, we have that 950 silver, we have that 950 platinum, and we have that 14 karat white gold. What we're looking at here is true VVS diamond sleek lock in a 999 11 millimeter 315 gram Miami Cuban link handmade. A substantial piece that's muted in color tone thinking that ah he's just wearing a silver chain but with an icy diamond lock not knowing that you're wearing one of the purest precious metals on the planet with incredibly beautiful diamond setting VVS stones. True VVS stones. This particular piece is stamped 999 platinum in the back and truly is an incredible piece, absolutely gorgeous. And this, at the end of the day, is more so of an investment based on its purity. You're gonna be losing some money on the diamonds, that's just the way it is. You're gonna add a little bit of a flash, but at the end of the day, this is pure platinum. So we're looking at a gorgeous, wearable commodity in its purest form. Granted, labor costs went into it, the diamonds, you're gonna lose a little bit of bread, but the persons who's spending this kind of money on a platinum piece, ain't worried about that. So in doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the 999 Platinum and the 950 Platinum, there are slight tonal differences, but again, not drastic. They are both Platinum. The 950 Platinum is more common than the pure 999, obviously for cost differences, but this is wild. So if we take these four and put them side by side. So we have 14 karat white gold, 950 platinum, 999 platinum, and 950 silver. What do you guys think? Can you see the tone differences? This diamond piece is absolutely legendary, beautiful, extremely thick and dense in the hand, a, a gorgeous piece nonetheless. I don't want to put this piece on to give you a neck profile to be honest with you. I believe this is going to be a sold order so I don't want to be the first one to indulge in this. I think he has a potential buyer for this piece so I don't want to put this joint on but I will give you the neck profile with the other pieces. It really makes me think of platinum in a different way but let's keep it all the way real. Are you able to visually truly tell the difference between this platinum piece and this 950 silver piece? The 999 platinum versus the 950 platinum? or the 999 Platinum versus the white gold. It's kind of difficult. And if they're not next to each other, to the regular person, not a jewelry expert or even a jewelry enthusiast, to a regular person, the white gold and the platinum are gonna have a similar appearance, especially if they're not next to each other. But let's get into some neck profiles. Let me know what you guys think of these pieces. Was the comparison good enough for you to pinpoint the differences between them? Are you now interested in platinum and seeing what kind of money you can put together to get yourself a beautiful exclusive platinum piece? Shout out to Daniel Jewelry Inc. for allowing me to do these videos. Let me know what you guys think between the comparisons between silver, platinum, and white gold, and if it's something that you definitely noticed. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is big stin the gang. Smooches!